Kylie's come down today. She's not herself. Don't know what's going on. I'm a little upset because I was at the zoo yesterday and I saw a pretty disturbing image. Really upset me. Um, there's a dolphin there, dead, lying lifelessly on the floor, just nothing. And I was told it was because of a shark net. Haley, she's come across at the zoo where she works, a dead dolphin that's through the shark net. So we've tracked down one of the one of these local guys who actually has his, um, his shark chopper and patrols the ocean and sees what's going on. So we rang him up and we tried to get a, you know, a little bit inside scoop to what's going on with these nets and how much damage they involve. And, you know, it's just wrong what, what we see and what we hear. And I don't think people actually realise what is going on. Hey, mate, how are you, Dave? Dave, yeah. how are you doing? Nice hey. to meet you. All right, what brings you guys up here? It's all about the shark nets, mate. Yeah. You no, know, we've seen your chopper flying around and we've just heard so many reports about what's going on under there and catching pretty much everything in the sea. So I saw a dead dolphin at work the other day and it was really upsetting to see this beautiful, intelligent animal just lying there lifeless on the floor because of us, because of yeah. the shark nets. Yeah. Because some people don't want to, you know, see this little shark come in where, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing to be worried about. Yeah, well look, they've been there for a long time and, you know, I mean, what are you going to do about it? Look, it was great to have Dave and Haley come up. Unfortunately, Dave and Haley arrived from that position of ignorance, the, the same position which I've, I've heard many, many times before. I mean, it's, it's obvious that they've got their heart in the right place, but I think there's a lot they need to learn before they can actually start to, um, to really assess the, the situation and really do anything about it. Can't we just pull them out? Get rid of them altogether? <laughs> Mate, I, in, in an ideal world, that would, be, uh, that would be perfect, but unfortunately it would be political suicide for any government to pull them out right now. The shark nets themselves have, have been in place for around about 75 years, and there are probably very few people alive that can remember a time where the shark nets weren't there. So we've all been conditioned to believe that the shark nets are providing some form of tangible protection for us, but that's not the reality. The reality is that the shark nets only cover between 2 and 20% of, of any beach. They don't go from top to bottom, and probably one of the most shocking things is that most of the sharks caught are caught on the inside of the nets. And also, most of the big sharks caught, your three metre pluses, will just tear themselves out of the nets. So at the end of the day, the nets are killing smaller sharks, harmless sharks, and a whole range of other animals. I mean, in the last 10 years, we've killed more than 100 dolphins. We've killed seals. It was only a couple of weeks ago we had a, um, a huge turtle in the nets. Must have been 95 years old, and then it finally comes to grief in, in these shark nets. So the shark nets are not designed to be a physical barrier to protect swimmers. They're designed to cull animals over time, and cull is just to kill. And unfortunately, when they do kill, it's in one of the most barbaric forms ever known. Hey, look, I, mate, I love your passion, right? And if you really are dedicated to trying to do something about this, then come along with me. I'll show you what's really going on, but more importantly, I'll show you what we can do about it. And you can see it's like the more you move, the more you yeah, thrash. Yeah, you get the straight more, into Yeah, it. the more it Definitely. just tightens around around oh. your neck. Things with the shark nets is even though they're, they're so close to the public and so close to shore, being underwater, people just don't get to see what's what's really going on. If we were to go and get a great big shark net, string it up along the Pacific Highway and fill it full of kangaroos and wallabies and animals, the, the public outcry would just be phenomenal. But but the same sort of carnage is happening just offshore, just in front of people that are um, that are enjoying their day. We're we'll just going to land down here at Palmy. Mate, we'll pick up a couple of boats and we'll get you down in the water because it's all happening underwater. People sitting around the beach and have no idea what's going on. So when Michael told us that, you know, there's nothing you can do, there's no pulling of the nets, you know, it was just, um, it was just disgraceful knowing that people can actually put a net in water and get everything trapped in it, such as dolphins, turtles, whatever it may be, except for those predators that we actually want out that can burst through those nets. It's just politically incorrect. Well, I think one of the government's main policies is not to ever have one of these animals wash up on the beach and not to ever allow the public to see what's really going on. And they, they do, they go to great lengths to prevent this from happening. As, in fact, they go as far as to actually drag the animals out to sea, weight them down, just to ensure that nobody knows what's going on, and I think that's wrong. 
All right. Well, well there you go. You get to see the nets yeah, the way they actually are, and it's a um, yeah to actually see it and go down there and just see what a what a waste of that's stupid. Yeah. That's well, the most it, stupidest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Like you can see the way they're designed. I mean, they're yeah. they're literally designed to catch the head yeah. of any animal Even that when comes along. Even you go up along. close to it, you kind of just it tangles you in it straight away. It's, it's insane. And you can see it's like the more you move, the more you yeah, thrash, you get the straight more, into yeah, it. Yeah, the more it just tightens around around oh. your neck. You drop from the top so far down, you actually get to the top of the net, and then it's just that little bit, and then you go all the way down the bottom, and it's, you know, there's a massive, massive gap, gap at the bottom. Oh, yeah, it looks ridiculous. I mean, look, so funny, as, like we were talking about before, most of the sharks are, are caught on the inside, so they've already yeah. been to the beach on the way back yeah. out. Exactly. Big sharks are tearing themselves out, so what have we got left? Yeah. Right, we've got we've got small harmless sharks, we've got dolphin seals, turtles. Right? Seabirds, so what, look, what what are they there for? They're not stopping the big sharks. No, that's a waste. Right? They're, kill, they're killing... Everything Unbelievable else. amounts of, of other harmless animals, animals that we should be trying to protect. Yeah. I know Australians have good hearts. I mean, we're all appalled at what's happening down in the southern oceans and we're all appalled by the Japanese whalers and the, and the slaughtering of animals. But the reality is that Australians are killing many, many dolphins too. I mean, in the last 10 years, we've had more than 100 dolphins killed and there are countless other animals as well that are, that are dying in these nets. Yeah, you look at the beach behind us, mate, you've got people with their umbrellas, swimming, surfing, having yeah, the time yeah. of their life. That net's not they got, they got no, no, idea, no that idea what's going on out here. So but nothing to catch an innocent animal. Yeah. Look, at least I've had a chance to, to show you what's going on yeah. out here. Yeah, right? totally. I, And I hope you've learned something because yeah. it's, um, you know... It's a tragedy, isn't it? We've, we've, all, we've spent years and years surfing, having fun, yeah. but, you know, very few people have the opportunity to come out and see what's really yeah. going on, and, and now you know. We all want to get rid of the shark nets, but the reality of the situation is that no government is just going to pull the shark nets out without a, a viable alternative. Upon meeting Michael, you know, we that was our main our main thing, knowing that he travels up and down that coast waiting, looking for sharks. Checking out those nets, we thought, you know, he'd be the right person to talk to and try and get up him about all these nets. And then to our surprise, him actually having this other solution. That's what we've been out and had a look at the nets. Right? And this is the shark guard system. So this is just basically a prototype at the moment. So yep. we've got the two boys sitting here. But once we go into, into full operation with it, we'll have one of these about every 300 metres spaced right across the beach. Any shark that comes in will detect it, become snagged with it. The only way we're going to get rid of the, the shark nets is to come up with a, a viable solution. Now, Surfwatch has been working on a system for the last year and a half that has absolutely zero bycatch. It's a system that we call Shark Guard, and the concept is that it's actually set up as a perimeter along the beaches. Any shark that breaks that perimeter will sense the, the lure. It's a, a vibrating sensor which has been tuned to, um, tuned to the shark sensors. If the shark comes into a swimming area, it'll come along, it'll detect the shark guard buoy, it will actually bite the shark guard buoy, and as soon as it does that, it actually is going to separate the shark guard floating buoy from the fixed mooring. Once it does that, it activates a GPS tracking system. It also activates an onboard camera. So what that means is that as soon as the shark has been secured, that data instantly goes to Lifesavers on the beach and instantly goes back to the control centre. I mean, after we've run the system for a couple of years, we'll probably have so many have so many sharks tagged yeah. that um, any shark that breaks that perimeter will automatically set off the system. Shark guard specifically targets predatory sharks, sharks that are a danger to humans. So you've got your great whites, bulls, tigers, bronze whalers, and shark guard is catching those sharks, and every single shark so far has been caught, secured, but then released unharmed. It's so good to see someone so passionate and actually knows what they're doing, knows exactly the risks and what's, what's going on in, in the sea, but the bad thing is there's no one helping him doing it.